I wanted to say a few words um, because I always speak about being married and you know how the ultimate ultimate purpose of a uh, human being human being is to be married and um, I know it's um, I don't say that without realizing that it's very hurtful for people who are singles and still struggle to be close to find a, a soulmate and uh, for all the divorced individuals who um, you know who have tried and have struggled and now are single uh, it's it is it is very hard process it's painful and that's why we we're in the world we are today the fact that there's so many singles the fact that there's so many divorces the fact that there's so many problems of the fact that the fact that so many people don't get married it's the challenge is the ultimate challenge that's why it's, that's why it's so hard um, and that's why we have a crisis right at the end of time it's part of the Kabbalistic process right now we are towards the end from Yesod to Malchus Yesod is the connection um, in the in the Kabbalistic um, understanding that Yesod and Malchus is the connection between the emotion and the emotional and the physical um, between Zeranpin and Nukve, between the physical, the well, physical and kind of spiritual also, but really between husband and wife, male and female. So the connection, the yesod, is not um, it's, it's 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 being tested, and our whole uh, last stage of. Um, of our exile to go into redemption is that ability to connect to someone. Uh, we never, I'm pretty sure we never had as many problems in relationships. Everything is about relationships. Everybody needs therapy, um, even if we're healthy, because we don't understand. We are so affected by the way society, movies, shows, all that uh, portray different types of relationship that we have lost the art of relationship, if I can say so. In the past, it was a little bit easier in the sense that the family had to bond together, everybody was together, the village and the cities were smaller, you were not exposed to everything out there and you rely on each other. Um, the solidarity, unity in a way of the family was more pure um, and the the, the, the real the way we lived, even if you were not religious or the, and the, you were affected by the more religious way whether it's Christianity, Islam, Judaism, all those different religions that um, have the structure of, of, of the family to strong and show how important it is. So we suffer from relationship but, but, but I want to give a word of encouragement to all the singles and the divorced um, individuals that we have, you have to realize that really the whole, first of all, God knows what he's doing, right? God's job, as we know from the Talmud, is to make sure he makes matches. Um, why are we here to be married? Origi originally, we're supposed to be one, men and women, but the whole, as she says, that if man, <clears throat> mankind, a human being, he doesn't get married, he's gonna think he's God. He thinks he doesn't need anyone. He thinks I don't need someone else to love. I don't need any, someone else to be loved. And I, I, I don't need, therefore, just like God, I, I'm one here on earth. And I don't need, uh, I don't need God. The ultimate understanding was to understand that we had to have a relationship with God and be one with God, that we cannot do it without God. The same way you cannot do it technically without a spouse, you cannot do it with, without God. But if you take the message further, then you understand that really the whole purpose is to be one with God everywhere, in the physical world, at work, everywhere, you're one with God, just like you're supposed to be one with your spouse. So, now it's a concept that you can still relate even if you're single. And what I'm saying is that you can learn to be married 
without being married. What do I mean by that? You can learn to be one with God and to be married with God even without being married in the meantime. This is not obviously the ideal. The ideal is to have a physical, um, you know, physical partner. That's what is a commandment and that's why, uh, um, you know, there's a need to say, why, why, why do we need to be married? And that, that's in a way the mistake that Nadav and Avihu did. This is this parasha is parasha Shmini. They are, we don't need to be married. We're one with God. And God said, "This is you, you're not you're not gonna get it because it's very good to be attached with me, but you have to you have to be attached with me everywhere. If you don't get married, you won't understand that how to be attached with me everywhere. You know, go to 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 work. You know, go." to the swimming pool, you know, go to uh, the grocery store, you know, you have to be with me everywhere. And this is very hard to understand without having a spouse. That everything you do is to bring, to be attached to your spouse, to make your marriage better, to make your family better. So now, although Nadal and Avihu were killed because they were not married, they, he says they were killed because they were so, so, so holy. So yeah, they were tremendous close to God. So what I'm suggesting is in the, t uh, in the meantime, be a little bit like Nadav and Avihu. The, the, the only problem with Nadav and Avihu is that the way they did it, they did it purposely not to, purposely they didn't want to get married. Like a, like a priest, the priest doesn't want to get married. That's the wrong. And they just want to be connected to God and nothing else. You have to be connected to human beings. You have to be connected to God, not just in the synagogue, not just in shul. You have to be connected to God everywhere. That's the importance of having a woman that keeps you grounded in the physical for everyday life pro uh, uh, things. So I want to end this by saying that if you're single or you're divorced, Learn to be married with God in the meantime until you find someone else. And even if, God forbid, you don't find someone else, you can live a life of tremendous satisfaction, tremendous love, tremendous harmony if you are able to enter God in your life in everything you do. In everything physical you do. Do you understand that God loves you more than any spouse can love you? Do you understand that? Do you understand that God gives you everything you need and cares for you for everything? He's here in your hard times and He's here for the good times. God loves you. God is the greatest spouse. The spouse is meant to be a role model, so to speak, for your relationship with God. So be strong. Don't give up searching. Understand that God is behind it. And sometimes we just have to stop searching in the sense like to be stressed about it. And, and, and because we, you want to give up, just let God do it. But as you do that, use that time to learn to be one with God. You can technically be closer to God than any other human being. You can have more love from God than any other human being. God gives everything. Everything you experience in this world is from God. Therefore, there's nothing greater than that. So, try to live a relationship of love with God. And if you want to know how, um, this is another class. I don't want to discuss too long, but the key is really through prayer and there's other things, but uh, Dvekus learned the mitzvah of being David Bashem, to be attached to, to God. I would suggest the Messiah Sesharim, the path of the just, that teach you how to do that, uh, the way the Baal Shem Tov, um, you know, teaches it um, how to love God. If you, the more you learn, and oh, actually, the amazing one is Rosh uh Chochma, which is um, the gate of uh, the gate of love, uh, the the beginning of wisdom, and the first, the one of, of the gate, I think, is the first is love. Uh, no, the second one is love. First is Yira, and it's love. So, Rosh Chochma, the gate of love, F, uh, and um, it's translated actually in English. By, by Simcha Ben, ben Yosef uh, and uh, I will suggest actually another book also is Tomer Dvora. 
Tomer Dvorah, the palm tree of Dvorah will help you love God tremendously and see really how much God loves you. So learn to love God, fall in love with God, fall in love with God, understand how much He loves you and you'll be able to survive these hard moments, uh, this hard uh, time that you have until you find someone. Um, and even it happens, God, God forbid, you should all find someone. But until, you know, if you're older and divorced and it's, you know, like 60, 70 and it's very hard to find someone, although it's, you should never give up. It's, I've, I've met many who are married later. Understand that you can finish your life in, in a level of love that transcends just the love of husband and wife. So I give you all the blessing that you should all find your spouse and that in the meantime until you find your spouse you should be able to be able to achieve that level of oneness you can experience with the spouse with Hashem and um, and with that Hashem may we have the redemption, redemption very quickly so that we can all find and live with a true soulmate and to live one with God like husband and wife. Have a wonderful, awesome day.